Fremantle's Michael Walters easily sits amongst footies elite this year and like all elite athletes, he has his fair share of superstitions as he explains to Nerily. What about your relationship with Ross now? Are you the coach's pet? Is that fair to say? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm definitely the coach's pet. Like, I, you know, we're like, we're like good mates. Ross has been there um, ever since I got sent back. He's the one who gave me the tough love when I needed it. Having a younger group this year, um, it sort of brought out his soft society. He's hugging people, kissing Brad on the head. It's, I haven't it's, got a kiss on the head yet. <laughs> but, yeah, it might be unusual to, to a lot of other people, but behind the lens, you really see what Ross is like at the club. You mentioned um, Bradley Hill. He tells me that you're a little bit oddly superstitious. <laughs> Tell me about not being the last one off the back of the bus on interstate oh, trips. Is I he making hate stuff it. up? Nah, <laughs> no, nah, I hate it. I remember I was saying to Michael Johnson probably about six, seven years ago that I don't want to be the last off the bus. I think is I might this have like had a rotten egg thing. I think or what I, is it? No, I think I might have had a crap game when I was last off the bus. Maybe I, or well, I must have dreamt it or something. But <laughs> and I remember the other the other week Collingwood game. Brad was being an idiot like he usually does. As I went to get off, he stood in front of me and he sort of just tried to run off the bus and I grabbed him by the, by the back of the bag. And I said, you're not going nowhere, I'm, I'm getting off first. And he goes, no, I'm getting off. And I was like, Brad, I can't be the last, you know this. I got angry and he said, all right, we'll go. So then I quickly got off the bus and I tried to, I tried to make up with him and he got a little bit sooky with me, but... The boys say you give it, but you can't take it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't take it. Uh, especially with Brad, like, Brad carries on a bit too much. And you have a joke with him, but he carries on with it like way too long. And his laugh just, it does my head in. Any other superstitions? Uh, when I'm having a set shot, I like to spit four times. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> what stood out to me when I spoke to all these people to do with your life is just how proud each and every one of them was of you and that they got to be your mate. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I am proud, like, especially where I, where I've come from, from, from being sent back. It's probably more satisfying knowing that, you know, other people are proud of me and seeing the smiles on my mum's face, my brothers, my dads. But, you know, most importantly, my family. Um, that's the one that really gets me going. Tell me about your family, your girls. What do they mean to you? Oh, they mean the world to me. They're the reason why I do it. And you can probably tell my footy that I've found the love for footy again. I, I don't go out there for accolades or anything like that. I'm going out there just to have fun and enjoying footy the same way I did when I was a kid. And those kids definitely brought it out of me. I wear wrist tape in a game and I write the girls' names down on it just so it's a trigger throughout games. If I'm having a rough patch, it's a trigger for me to keep going and, and it gives me the confidence um, to do what I have to do on the footy field. Motivation? Motivation, definitely. You gonna rap for me? <laughs> Go on. Oh. Oh, I'll probably bring something up a little bit. Go on. Hey, you right there. I got another rap coming from right up here. You walk around with your chest out like you don't fear, acting like you do you the midfielder of the year. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Man of many talents. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> I don't know about that. I try. See what I mean? I try. <laughs> uh. Sonny, thanks for spending some time with us. I really appreciate it. No worries, thank you.